Welcome to the Mobile Media Toolkit screencast, Mobile Optimize a WordPress-based website. In this screencast, we will take a website based on WordPress.org software and make it easy to view and navigate on a mobile handset. The setup. We will start with a website based on WordPress.org, here it is, and the Opera Mini Simulator, available at opera.com slash mobile slash demo. Opera Mini is a popular browser on mobile handsets and the simulator will show us what our website will look like on many phones. Visiting our website on the mobile simulator for the first time, we see that not much content is visible at first glance. Navigational links are hard to get to and a lot of scrolling is needed in order to view much of the content. It would be much nicer to have more of the content above the fold, that is, available on the first screen when we load the website like on the desktop version of the site. Installing the plugin. So let's get started and go to the WordPress admin dashboard for the site. Go down the left and click on plugins. We're going to add a new plugin called the WordPress mobile pack, which will do the mobile optimization for us. Simply click on add new, then search for WordPress mobile pack. There it is, the WordPress mobile pack. Click on install now. Hit OK and it's installed. Now we click on Activate Plugin and Plugin Activated. Let's see what our mobile website looks like now. Refresh. There we have it, a mobile optimized website. Minimal scrolling and much of the content above the fold. Of course, that's cheating a little bit because there isn't much content on this website at all. So I'm going to add some content. Now watching me add content is boring, so I'm going to cut to when I've already done some of that. Here we are. I've added some pages and blog posts to the website. And now we can check what that looks like on a mobile handset. The content is easier to scroll to. No need to scroll sideways anymore. And clicking on read more shows what an individual blog post looks like. The image has been resized to fit the mobile screen. Navigational links are much easier to get to. There's plenty of commenting room on the bottom. Note that the commenting area doesn't use any JavaScript and will load on almost any mobile phone. Exploring plugin options. Before ending the screencast now, I'll point out that the WordPress mobile pack has more power than I just demonstrated. If we go over to appearance on the left hand side of the admin page, we see that the WordPress mobile pack has installed a number of mobile themes for us. There are also three more configuration pages that have been added. Mobile Theme, Mobile Widgets, and Mobile Switcher. The Mobile Theme page lets you choose things like how many blog posts are displayed on the front page, whether flash is removed, etc. The Mobile Widget page lets you add normal WordPress widgets to the mobile version of your site. Be useful if you integrate social media into your blog using widgets. And the mobile switcher allows you to pick a variety of ways to redirect to mobile content and choose a theme for mobile phones. And there we have it. Mobile Optimize, a WordPress-based website. A screencast from the Mobile Media Toolkit. This screen is a summary of what we covered. You can use it to go back and review parts of the screencast.